Uh, yeah, uh, I take a sip, another sip, repeat. Continue on until I'm finished with this whiskey need. Yeah. Today we're making a dirty martini. It's one of my all-time favorite drinks. It's what my grandpa used to drink at five o'clock every single day. I grew up in my grandma and grandpa's house, so you know he was somebody I looked up to. So naturally, when I grew up, that's what I wanted to drink. My new album's called The Beautiful and Damned, and it's based off of the book, which takes place in the 20s, and they drank a lot of martinis in that time. So it's a nostalgic drink for me. It's just a classic cocktail. Yeah. Uh, my liquor is the color brown. Nothing in my life is ever watered down. In this dirty martini, we're gonna start with four ounces of Stillhouse. It's my favorite spirit. It's a versatile spirit. It's a whiskey, but you can make a martini with it because it's clear. We're gonna do three quarters ounce of uh, dry vermouth, and then we're gonna do a half ounce of olive juice to make it extra dirty, and then end it with a garnish of three olives. I like them cold and dirty. I start with four ounces of Stillhouse because I like them stiff. So you start with a double pour. The beautiful and damn connects with me because I'm a Gemini. I mean, I'm split right down the middle. There's Gerald and there's G-Eazy. So, you know, there's these two kind of like twin sides of me. The way it relates to the book is, you know, this lifestyle that they lived in the 20s was beautiful. I'm going to add in the, um, the vermouth, three quarters ounce of vermouth. This lifestyle, they drank a lot. They went out in the 20s all the time, you know, but there was this, you know, darker side to it. Then you move on to the dark half an ounce of olive juice. So that's like, you know, my split personality, the rock star who goes out a lot at night, and the Gerald that wakes up the next day. So I'm gonna add in my ice. I think I made over 100 songs for this album. I just got in a really good creative space. I got in a groove and I just kept writing. I figured while you're tapped in and the ideas are flowing, you might as well just get them out. And I just got lost in my studio. And then that's your martini. I mean, it's a really simple cocktail. It's an old classic, you know, been around forever. I like him like James Bond. <laughs> All right, cool. Then you pour. I remember the first time I actually got to have a martini with my grandfather, and I definitely didn't like it at the time, but I wanted to act like I did, you know what I mean, to be cool like him. And that is Young Gerald's Stillhouse Cold and Dirty Martini. And then you finish it off with the, with the garnish. You know, it's not a martini without olives. And like I said, I like them dirty, so I do three olives, and there you are. I don't want to make music that won't matter. That's just how I approach life. You have this one life to live, like make it count, say something. We have enough noise in the world. That's my still house, cold and dirty martini. You try it at home. I mean, remember it's art, not science. So, you know, make it how you want to make it. Could try to lay low. I've never been no good at it. Could cold turkey for a week, but then I'm back at it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.